The other piece of that for me um, in discovering who I am and, and where I'm meant to be right now is these really big full circle moments that I've been having. Um, I talked about it briefly just about, you know, sometimes in life when you get down or when you're not realizing what you're supposed to be doing or getting discouraged and how the universe kind of plays its part in letting you know you're in the right direction. And for me, I've been having these really, really, really big full circle moments where all of a sudden I feel like I'm in this really sweet spot of purpose. Um, my little boy the other day, he, he kept calling my name and I was making breakfast and I was kind of ignoring him and finally I looked over and he was carrying my little girl like this. And I looked over and it was like lightning struck me and I could barely breathe because it so deja vu'd me into this moment and it so flashed forward this full circle purpose in my life. Um, that co-op I told you about where I worked at the Children's Rehabilitation Center. After I was done, I met a family there and they asked if I'd work with their little girl. Um, she was a teenager, her name was Emily. And I worked with her for a whole summer and she just happened to have Down syndrome. And you know, I used to take her for dinner or to the movies and I'd constantly take her to my family's house, you know, to play board games or do something. And she had the hugest crush on my little brother. And he was maybe 14 at the time. And every time she came running into the door, she'd run over to him and jump in his arms like that. And I just flash forward to my brother kind of carrying Emily in that, that position. And I don't know, all of a sudden, it all kind of made sense for me. And my mom tells me, um, you know, if I had chosen the ballerina route instead of the writer route, I kind of maybe might still be standing here because the ballerina route, I guess I took just as seriously. I apparently learned to walk on the tips of my toes and to the point where doctors had to send me to that exact same children's rehabilitation center where I had to learn to walk flat footed. In two weeks, I'll be going back to that exact same children's rehabilitation center and I'll be opening a wing, a whole entrance That'll be a happy soul project, ah, happy soul project entrance. And this mural that my dad and I made will be hanging on the walls. Um, and I can't tell you how fulfilling that is, how monumental it is um, to push me forward and to know that what I'm doing right now in life is meant to be. So I guess. You know, I just would encourage you, they might not be as outrageously full circle as this, but just to kind of find, find your full circle moments, whatever they may be. The other one that really, um, really kind of changed my life is when you first are given um, the diagnosis that your child has Down syndrome, you're, you're given either um, this brochure or this new parent package, and it could be you know, before the diagnosis or right as soon as you receive it. And we received this package, and my husband, you know, he, he really loved that kind of thing. It provided medical information and factual stuff and maybe community stuff about who you could contact for local support. But for me, it was missing kind of a real and raw look from, a, from another parent. And fast forward maybe two years, I was approached by the Canadian Down Syndrome Society um, to see if I would like to write a letter to these parents. So now every single, every single package that a new parent receives who has a baby with Down Syndrome receives this letter from a mom, um, a letter from me just kind of telling them that the feelings they're having, the emotions they're having, um, the circle of grief that they're going through is all okay. And I don't know, for me, this moment in my life, um, I think will go down as the most powerful. I think will go down as the most humbling. Um, and for me, this moment, this moment brought redemption. Um, those first few weeks when I was so sad, those first few weeks when I was doubting the purpose my daughter was gonna have in my life, this moment, um, brings redemption for that. So I just really um, want to leave you with that, with finding, and tears, tears and win, really great combo I got going up here. Um, 
yeah, I just really want to leave you with, with those two points to start, is just give yourself grace to explore who you are and find your full circle moments. <laughs>